I want to go ahead and do a in-depth review on the specs of the bike of the Magicycle. At the time of this video, just a reminder, the bike is selling at this particular model selling for $13.49 I saw on the website this morning. There is a $100 discount that you can get additional so you can get this bike for $12.49 if you use the code CHRIS100 when you check out. And to go to the website, you can go to ebikeproducts.com slash magicycle and what that will do is it'll actually activate my affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything more to use it. It does support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, just a reminder, this bike was sent to me by Magicycle so I could do this review. And uh, I was, I'm really appreciative of everything that they've done. This is a fantastic bike and they've been giving great deals on it. And the last thing I want to make a mention of is that this bike will be going up in price by the end of the year. Their target is $15.99 by the end of 2021. And then beginning 2022, they are going to reassess shipping costs, raw materials costs to see if they have to go up even higher. And now they do have a regular standard model that's not a step through version that is selling for the $13.99 price. And the Chris 100 code does work as well to get $100 off that bike. Again, if you go to ebikeproducts.com slash magicycle, that takes you right to the site where you can pick up these bikes. Now, first thing I want to point out is uh, it is a full size 26 inch by four. A fat tire bike. It, that's, it competes with a lot of the other bikes in this category like the Rad Rover and Hemiway bike which obviously looks a lot like this. For the price that you're getting it I'm going to say this is th the best deal out there right now by far. There's nothing you can get with all the components that it has. It has a lot of power but let's start with the power. Okay so first in the back here we have a 750 watt Shengyi motor and it has a peak output of about 1100 plus. Now the reason why I say it's a peak output doesn't mean that you're going to get it because it, I'm not sure but I believe that the controller might be limiting up to 900 watts. That's what it reads. It could be going higher because I don't know if the display just cannot show higher but just know that um, a lot of other companies are doing exactly the same so that they're limiting the max speed and the max power that's going to the motors because of burnout issues that have been happening. Bafang started it kind of I think beginning of 2021 of this year. They started actually topping their bikes out at like 26, 27 miles an hour for the 750 and 1000 watts. Um, it's because they said that when everybody unlocks their bikes to go to 28 plus, that's not what the motor or the bike is designed to do at a long extended period of time, which a lot of users don't realize and they burn out the motor. So they are maxing these motors out, I believe at the same thing too. I haven't had any confirmation that is just my speculation, but I do see it only going to 900. Now I do get 27 to 28 miles an hour. You'll see it in the footage. It's throttle only um, at my weight. Now my, my friend Steve, he's about hundred pounds heavier than I am and he was getting 26 steady and I do have footage of that as well. So this bike can do 20, up to 28 miles an hour for someone who's my size, who's about 170. I do have a, about a 10 pound weight bag on it. So I'm packing about 180 on this bike that's going. So that's the power that you're getting off of this bike here. You do also get a 14 by 28, uh, seven speed Shimano gearing in the back, which is typical uh, of a lot of bikes in this range. Uh, you have your standard, uh, chain as well that's not uh, you know anything really extra special it is a name brand chain and you're of course Altus Shimano gear or shifter there in the backside here not the highest end but it is not the lowest either so this is a decent gearing I don't have any problems they didn't have to do any adjustments uh, someone made a comment and asked if it has a derailleur guard this one does not particularly have one but you can always add one as well your front tooth is I don't know the exact how many teeth. I believe it's a 42 from what I can see, but uh, I'll have that checked up with put the notes on there. It is 107, 170 millimeter crank. So you do actually start having a lot of air pedaling once you get to the higher speeds. I don't know why, but it would be nice to have these at like a 50 and above uh, crank in the front so you can keep on helping the bike and pushing it forward, you know, once it hits that peak. But, you know, like I said, it's, it's typical of most bikes. That's what they're running, the same type of gearing on all the others. It does come with the rack, everything as far as the accessories that you see here do come with it, except it does not come with this cell phone holder, which I do sell on ebikeproducts.com. And then also um, the mirrors. These mirrors uh, were additional add-ons on there. These are anti-glare reflection, courtesy of Hafni. So shout out to Hafni. Thank you very much. Two main accessories I would tell everybody that they should start getting right from the start when they're picking up or thinking about their bike is a helmet if they don't already have one, mirrors, and actually also a lock, but 
This particular bike, you don't need to get a lock. It does come with a, a combination lock chain deal on it, but it's not, you know, if you're gonna keep this bike out in long periods of time in especially high crime areas, definitely wanna get a higher grade lock for the bike. So let's move on to the battery itself. We have a 52 volt, 15 amp hour battery. Uh, I did see one commenter say that they got 25 and a half or 25 and a quarter miles on throttle alone just pushing this bike. Now I don't know the weight of the person and I don't also know the terrain that they're riding on, but they were able to get that with this 52 volt battery, which is pretty awesome. The battery also comes with a three amp charger. Now, if you don't know, there's a lot of uh, companies that mostly will send out two amp chargers. Lately, they're going up to three. So this is one that has a three amp. So you get an extra 30% faster charge than the two amp chargers, which is really good because of the, the battery capacity that it has there. You don't have to be waiting around forever for a full charge off of that. These tires are Kenda tires with this uh, white reflective on them. They're standard tires, you know, not really loud, which is, you know, decent. The motor is uh, with the tire together, you do still have that fat tire roar that's coming by, but it's not as loud as some other bikes. And um, it does have the reflective safety strip that's going around there. That's a, a really nice added feature. Also the reflectors that are on the, the spokes there as well. So talking about the spokes on the front, you have a 13 gauge spokes that are on the front and 12 in the back, 12 gauge spokes on the back. We also have Welgo pedals and you do have a front side chain guard on it, um, but it does protect your pants at least. This bike isn't really made for like super hardcore mountain riding where you probably want to have a double sided chain guard, but uh, with the regular street riding and some mild like uh, fire trail riding, this chain should do fine without having any problems popping off. We do also have the full leather and a half twist throttle. Uh, along with the seven gear shifter. This is a standard SIS shifter. It comes with almost all of the, the more economical bikes that are out there. So the shifting itself is actually not, not that bad at all. We also have uh, brakes. This is a 180 millimeter brake set that's on here. And then also you have your, uh, these are called the nut Aries and 180 millimeter set brakes on the front and back. And I gotta say, if there's one thing that I, or that I wanna upgrade because I just want something a little stronger on it would be the brakes itself here. I do see some commenters saying that they're having problems with a brake rub. And I was having problems with, figured out ways to adjust it probably within 20 to 25 minutes where I really liked the way I adjusted it. And again, this is called the Nut Aries 180. Now, the reason why I believe that they're actually using the Nut Aries is because Tektral brakes, are now almost two years out in waiting if you want to buy them. You also have your suspension fork here, which does have lockout. You do have your 80 millimeter travel, but it also has preload adjust here that you can do. The headlight and the tail light is integrated. Okay, so I'm gonna say that there's actually two things that I'm not like super excited about on this here. The integration is fantastic for the front and the back. The light is decent. I went riding around last night and then I realized uh, this integrated light is actually a brake light, which I saw from David Brand News Channel. I did not know my light was not working. Uh, that was just an issue, but I realized what happened was when I got my bike, this cable wasn't plugged in. That's here. It wasn't plugged in. It was just hanging. So I, I noticed that there was very thin pins in here. So I did just uh, I, as carefully as I possibly could plug this in and I inevitably bent one of the pins. So that's my fault that this thing doesn't work. I am gonna be in touch with Magicycle to see if I can order another one. I'm, you know, I'm, I'll pay for another one because it's, it's my bad that I, I bent the pin. But I do recommend if yours is not plugged in already, I don't know if mine was just a fluke that it wasn't plugged in. I would recommend taking this off and then carefully lining it up because I think my problem, I, as careful as I was, you can't really see clearly if you're going straight at this angle, no matter what you do, because the rack's in the way. Uh, so inevitably I made a mistake. And you can, this, these come off super easy. You just take these two screws off, pops off. You can plug it in carefully, put it right back on. So I'm gonna have to fix that. So that was my, like I said, it was, I, it's a beautiful light because I did see David Brand News review. He did a fantastic job reviewing this bike. The other thing that we have here is a really, it actually is a pretty nice display. And I don't know if we'll be able to see it. If, I, if we can't, we're gonna have to move into yeah, we're gonna, it's already already on. You can't even see it because of the glare. I'm gonna have to move into the shade and we'll do that in a moment after finishing up. Just knowing, oh, it does come with an integrated, not integrated, but com, um, included bell. Uh, these brakes, again, at the handle at the top, the handles feel great. I like the way these actually feel. The brakes do, uh, they're kind of like, I liken it to 
the old Rad Rover bikes where everybody said the brakes work, but they could be better. And that's exactly what I feel about this. When you're going 25, 28 miles an hour, you want brakes that are actually are stronger. So I am gonna, like I said, upgrade it to hydraulics. But you know, for the price point that you're getting, these bikes, most of the bikes at this price point are all going to have mechanical, most of them. Uh, even uh, Rad Rover now has hydraulic brakes, but they jacked up their price about almost $400. So you're paying for that. Uh, the hydraulics are not that much more for me to go ahead and add on to this. It's the fenders that are on here are plastic, which I honestly like plastic better than metal because one, it's usually lighter, but two, it, it won't make as much noise if it does start to have any type of rattling. I mean, if you look at it, it makes almost no noise. You wouldn't be able to really hear that with the mortar. And if it is hitting, it's hitting here. I can also, you know, lift that up here. Um, I don't know if I put the light here. I saw in the instructions, the guy put the light in the front, but I like it here closer to the cable. Um, the front, it just seemed as though it was sticking out a little bit too much. But when I did my test ride, it did seem to hit here. So this light can be bracketed for more forward to the to the bike here if that needs to be done so just know that that was my decision to do it that way i just liked it closer to the bike but i might change that as time goes on the battery itself pops off super easy with the turn of a key it'll snap over to the right and basically you can just pull it out from the other side i don't have the key with me right now since i went on a ride didn't decide to bring that with me so i uh, can't really show it but it's super easy and it charges really nicely with the three amp charger pretty quickly as well oh the other thing is that it does have a pedal assist it is pedal assist is not a torque sensor and there is a 12 magnet sensor so for those who are not familiar with that a lot of uh, other bikes come with 12 but there are some that come with six the more magnets you have as you're pedaling the more responsive the bike is because it gets more readings as the magnets pass each other for how fast you're pedaling and that actually is the responsiveness that you'll get with a 12 so that's actually an added benefit too it's all solid parts in this bike some of the downfalls i did mention i guess the other thing is that this is a step through per se but it's more like a mid-step so to get your leg through you do have to lift it quite high and what you're seeing here is actually shoe marks from me and my friends because they were riding it too. So just know that these marks did not come with the bike. This came <laughs> from just riding it with us sticking our legs through it. And honestly, um, one of my friends in his mid to late seventies could not get his leg through it because of just the keeping balance, getting it through. So this is not as friendly, maybe I would say, as a, a full low, you know, step through bike, but it is definitely easier than a, I still stick my leg through that way because I'm just one of the most inflexible dudes on the planet. And uh, to get my leg through that is a lot easier than trying to lean the bike over. It is about 75 to 77 pounds with all the stuff that, you know, gets put onto the bike. So it is a heavy bike. And, you know, if you don't have to lean it as far, it's, it's a lot easier to go ahead and just um, put your leg through it. For me, anyway, I'm flexible enough, which actually is no flexibility, just to lift my leg and put it through there. So that's another thing. The other thing that comes with this is it comes with these, this strap is included on, in fact, it comes like mounted right the way it is. And it's like a, a twist and lock. Okay, so I wonder if I can get it off this time. There we go. Okay, so basically you have like this locking mechanism and you know, you see the, the block there. So it, it won't come off once it's on for sure. It's like really it will lock in. You kind of like stick it in and it, there it locks in. And then the only way for it to come out is it had to be pushed down and it would have to be pulled out, you know, right the way that it'll work for it to come out the way that you saw. It does have a max of 25 kilograms. Uh, the max rated on this, I believe was 275 is what they put on the website. I did see an FAQ of what if you're heavier and they did say actually the 275 is a safety rating and that's something that uh, the bike can handle more but just keep in mind you know they don't recommend riders over 275 but it can definitely handle it uh, there's guys that I mean this bike is pulling 16 miles an hour uphill throttle only with uh, Steve on it and you know like I said he's uh, he's under the 275 mark but it was pulling easily someone a little heavier could actually be pulled on this bike as well so this is the strong long overview of all the parts and pieces that i think i've got everything oh the amp controllers i believe at 22 amps the accessories that they come with on this bike is also pretty awesome it comes with a motion bike alarm and then also uh, this this bag here 
which is not only a cell phone holder bag because you can stick your cell phone in you know from here as you can see your cell phone will be put in here and it'll hold but also it also has a pocket for like wallet and keys this is like my garage door opener I love this this is actually like super super awesome it does not come with a water bottle holder but it does have the bottle bosses here which would if you put a bottle here honestly you're gonna take away your uh, your step through really ability but you know that's up to you if you want to do that you can also put a lock there um, my Avis locks would fit perfectly on that as well it's just it just says it's a full well built well put together bike uh, a lot of comments that you'll see is this is a brand new company yes it is this is their first bikes that are getting out there but they are not brand new to the industry as far as the owners uh, my understanding is this is the third factory that the owner runs and owns he has been building bikes for other companies he's what they call an OEM builder like if a big name brand needs a bike made and they want a factory to build it they'll go to guys like this guy and so he'll build bikes for them and he's actually an award-winning designer as well uh, but not well known in the industry because of course when he puts somebody else's brand name on it that award goes to that brand not necessarily to him himself but then again I mean that's as, all that being said he decided to go in and start he said why not build his own company so he actually built his own or got his own factory and now he builds magic cycles in his factory so he knows bikes inside and out and you know some people were concerned that hey the price is too cheap and you know that they're gonna not be around for a long time but I can tell you because of what I've learned I was very skeptical too of you know promoting too much of a bike that's not even here and what I've learned about you know the guys who are running this company I, I have a lot of confidence that they're gonna be along for a while and the reason why they're doing such low pricing in the beginning is to get their name out and that's how you do it in this industry you you promote you do a loss leader is what they call it and you get your name out there you use you know social influencers youtubers like myself and others that can get the name out there and all of a sudden you have a flood of bikes that everybody starts to see and then they can start raising their price and it becomes just an everyday name brand after that and that's their marketing is very very strategic and that is why again the prices are so low the only thing is they're affected by all the shipping costs and all of the supply issues that are happening with the whole um, supply chain issue so if you guys are looking for a bike and you know budget is a consideration just know the only other thing that uh, new companies always will have a challenge with is setting up the infrastructure for support and that's a big deal okay so you are taking that risk for the price that you're getting it but they are determined to make sure that they are going to get their support uh, up and going oh I did see notice this here so one thing I didn't mention was the integration and this got to be shoved back in but they do have these so the IP rating I, oh that's another thing somebody asked I don't know yet I will be posting that in the comments when I get that information on what the IP rating is on this um, everything is nicely integrated into the frame so you don't have all these wires sticking out it comes out right at the nice places that are that makes sense and that's really nice of that too you can go to ebikeproducts.com slash magicycle and that'll um, that is an affiliate link I do get uh, credit for for any sales that come out of that and I do appreciate it it helps help support the channel and then also um, if you use the code Chris 100 more importantly even if you don't use the link that's completely fine if you but I don't want you to miss out on the opportunity to use the $100 discount because you know at $13.49 bring it down to $12.49 that makes it an amazing deal and you definitely want to take advantage of that uh, don't forget to like subscribe thank you guys so much for all the support for this channel and congratulations to those who are getting their bikes now I mean I've seen some great reviews on it so uh, thank you guys again so much for all the support all of the information or all the comments that have actually helped me to go ahead and understand what you guys want from these this is the step through model this bike is out of stock currently but you can pre-order now at the price that lock it in there and those are already on the water so you're gonna those bikes are being expected to ship out in mid-october and the blue full size or full uh, non step through is available right now and in stock at the warehouse shipping out right away if you buy a step through and a regular bike combined the batteries are interchangeable you can actually swap between the two so that's actually a pretty cool feature as well you're not stuck with that uh, just one as well if you need to buy a third battery between the two bikes it'll work for both you don't have to worry about that as either and magic cycle does have in the works planning for already a whole bunch of different other bikes coming out new lines road bikes all that other stuff 
you know, um, it's it's pretty amazing what they're coming. This is going to be a big upcoming company. Uh, and so thanks again. I will see you guys in the next video.